April 24, 2024 Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter A reading from the Acts of the Apostles The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Mana and who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Respond is, O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth. Among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult. Because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us. And may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light. So that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them. I do not condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words. Has something to judge him, the word that I spoke. It will condemn him on the last day because I did not speak on my own. But the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection. Wednesday, fourth week of Easter. In this morning's first reading, the Holy Spirit prompts the church in Antioch to send two of their leading and most gifted members on mission, Paul and Barnabas. There might have been those in the church of Antioch at the time who said, No, we can't let two such key people leave. They are needed here. As communities, as individuals, there is a natural temptation to hold on to what we have. We resist deliberately making ourselves poorer. Yet, that is what the Holy Spirit was asking the church in Antioch to do, to make itself poorer, to let go of two of its greatest assets so that those who had never heard the gospel might be brought to Christ. The ways of the Holy Spirit today in the church are probably not very different from the ways of the Holy Spirit at the beginning of the church. The Spirit prompts us to take the way of Jesus, which is the way of self-emptying so that others might have life. In his second letter to the Corinthians, Paul declared, You know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ who, though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor so that by his poverty you might become rich.